focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And notice where you feel it. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. This is the quality is called evaluation. This is a really important part of the meditation. It's a sign that you really do have to think. If you're going to get the mind to settle down, you have to have reasons for getting it to settle down to begin with. And then you have to have skill in finding a good place for it to stay, where it can stay long. And that's what the thinking is about. And the Buddha has right view, both mundane right view and transcendent right view, to remind you of why you're doing this. Why would anyone want to sit and watch his breath or her breath? Well, it's because some really important things can be learned, especially about why you're causing yourself suffering. So the right view is there to help give you the motivation for why you're doing this. So you have to think about that sometimes, because sometimes you're sitting here meditating and you start thinking, well, maybe I better think about X or think about Y or tomorrow or yesterday or whatever. And you have to be able to remind yourself, no, there are good reasons for why you're staying here. And then when you're trying to settle down, you also want to deal with the obstreperous members of the committee. They're very picky about where they want to settle. The mind is really strange this way. You can go off and think about things that cause suffering for days and days and days on end and it doesn't seem to want to stop. But if you tell it, well, why don't you stay here with the breath and be quiet for a while? It says, well, that isn't comfortable. I don't like being here. I want to be someplace else. So you've got to give it some candy. You've got to show it, okay, stay here and it's going to be really nice. So this is why you work with the breath and notice how the breathing feels. And then try to do what you can to spread that sense of ease once you found it how to spread that to the different parts of the body so that it gets more and more refreshing and more and more gets really, really good. That way you have good reasons to stay and you have a good place to stay. And then the mind can really settle down. It's not that you have to do all this thinking all the time. The thinking is getting everything prepared and, and putting up the mold. As John Fung used to say, it's like casting something in concrete. As long as the concrete isn't solid, you need a mold. You can't take the mold away until the concrete is set. In the same way with getting the mind to settle down. You have to think about why you're here. You have to think about how to do this well. And you have to think about any problems that come up. But once the mind settles down and things are clear, okay, then you can drop the mold and just be there with the breath. This is the way thinking leads to stillness. And thinking leads to the kind of understanding that allows you to put thinking aside, at least for the time being. So learn to get your thinking in order, and that's an important step right there in getting the mind still.